Right, ladies and gentlemen, this is an interesting matchup. Um, and one of the first few times, I might I might just be tempted to say that as a racial matchup, we're all right. We're all right here, uh, which normally means I'm going to go on and lose the game. So I'm, I'm super curious to see what actually happens. This is match number, I think, 13 for the Nurgles. And we've got humans. The reason this is so good is because humans are an AG3 team, broadly, and we're just stronger than them. So if we bully them, they can't run away. So, <coughs> has Humano and his zeal got what it takes? Or are we going to out-zeal them? Don't know. Uh, interesting skill-ups. Uh, he's 5, 6, and 2. Doesn't lose very often. Uh, and plays for draws when he's not winning. So we got four guard blitzes. That's definitely the engine room of the team. We need to start taking that down. Don't care about tackle. Uh, we got catcher with blodge and sidestep. Yeah, okay, fine. Uh, we've not got any sneaky get dirty players, have we? Uh, strip wrestle catcher. Oh, wow. This is There's four catchers. Oh, okay. This is a bit more serious. So we'll have a, we'll have a keg and a, and a coach. Uh, good evening, Dr. Hellboy. Dave, my brother is currently developing a game at the moment. I'm currently in the top 20 out of 1,400 games in the Game Jam 14 competition running at the moment. Can I post a link? Absolutely, yes. Oh, po post a link to the VOD as well, Hellboy. Yeah, yeah, let's, I'm, I'm interested in this. Andy not doing something he said he would. Can't believe it, by the way. When is the winner of the painting competition going to be announced? Uh, the painting competition still under judging. I'm waiting for Dementor to make a final choice. <clears throat> right. Warrior, warrior, warrior. Warrior. Frenzy goat. He ain't got a frenzy, has he? No frenzy. He has no frenzy. No frenzy. Okay. Alright, that works for me. <clears throat> IB says they want to kill my tackle. It's my tackle? You can write off. So, yeah, this, be, this should be a fairly interesting match. Um, when I said that we're racially ahead, um, I'm not sure we are now. I think I think this is a lot a lot closer than it could have been because um, 35 long long months of food monstrosities and stupid decisions. Moist, sopping, moist. Thank you very much indeed, cauliflower. Thank you very much indeed for 35 months of staying glorious. Game fans, opponent gets a re-roll. Uh, oh no. Oh. Three loner two pluses. That's not very nice. Thank you very much, Cauliflower. Thank you. Uh, I think the uh, weather is indeed. Oh no, it's sweaty hot. We are having a problem. It is currently sweaty hot. I don't have block, of course, so uh, that takes me down. <sighs> catches are the ones with the blue rings under underneath them. So, catches are the problems. Uh, good evening, STX. In fact, he's got a lot of problem players, right? Because the catches are a problem. Um, because they are effective and worse than that, Jim. Um, the um, <clears throat> uh, the blitzes are a problem because they got guard. So he's got eight problems. Uh, Render says, Do you have any advice for Dark Elves versus Lizard Men? I'm having a rough time. Trying to survive against them. The only thing I can think of is trying to hunt down the skinks. So that TV, that matchup, Dark Elf versus Lizardmen, 
um, I think changes around a little bit depending on what team value you're talking about. Uh, I like playing that matchup as Dark Elves, but not at super high team value. Lower team value is is more fun. Um, <clears throat> uh, and what would I do? One to one point two. Jesus, this is this is a lot of pressure. Um, yeah, what would I do? I would. Wow, this is a lot of pressure. This is going to require some serious thought because this is this is a lot of pressure. Well, I don't see you going anywhere. Sadly, need to push you out of the way. Huh. <clears throat> we mortals are but shadows and dust. Shadows and dust, Maximus. Let's see, if we can try and chase this down. That into there, that into there. That into there. Problem is, this guy's dodging on a four, which is shit. Dodging on a four. <clears throat> dodging on a four. Oh wow, he's an absolute hero dodging on a four. Um, the ending turn there. Right, what would I do? Dark Elves versus Lizard Men. So yeah, like the the strategy here against Dark, Dark Elves Lizard Men is that you take on defense, you go and pressure them straight away, and you try and chase them around because if you stand in front of them. In fact, it won't work, effectively, because they are movement 8 stunty. So once they get three squares inside your half, they can just run it in. Yes, they might have to make some three pluses, maybe, but you're not going to stop them. So you have to play a pressure game on defense. If you don't, you, it just won't work. Um, on offense... Oh, really? On offense, it's a bit more tricksy, and you just want to move the ball around. I would recommend trying to keep the ball on a blodging blitzer to start with because it makes quite a big difference having that on blodge. Beast needs grab. Um, Beast needs lots of skills. Charlie says six skill Amazons, anything spicy you can take. Uh, nope. I go double guard on the strength four, double block on the um, guys with hit and run, uh, block on the thrower, and wrestle on the line woman. Done. Uh, you can then, you can either play all the positionals and 13 players, three rerolls and an apothecary, probably, depending on the team value. Um, or you can play drop a, drop a thrower and you can get a 14th player in. I do like double on the ball though, it's 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 situationally very powerful. Nah, no, don't like I don't I don't like it because the blitzers um the sorry the blitzers the um oh, we're gonna finish that thought. Blitzers, the blitzers, no not the blitzers. Um, um, yeah, the guys that have got the, the the guys, it's an Amazon team. The girls that have got hit and run do a decent chunk of um, doing stuff because 
they have got block. You blitz with them, they're blitzers. So I like having block on them. I understand why people put wrestle on them for the, the synergy with hit and run, but it's not it's not my favourite. <clears throat> We need to just try and put a little, tiny, tiny, easy bit of pressure on. Um, I won't follow that up. That's an apothecary. Is that what I won with? Uh, very, very, very similar, yeah. Something very similar. These things are strength two. Time to put pressure in. And then time to foul the most dangerous player on the field, I guess. Double four, double three. Well, he was definitely getting kicked out. Yep. I think it was worth it, right? The, the Apothecary's gone now. That's a high-value target. Didn't work, but it was a good idea. <clears throat> Even in MS Bowl roster deadline tomorrow. Um, when is MS Bowl? Oh, dear. Oh, <laughs> okay, well... Uh, Lucky, lucky, meet good. Lucky's like, yeah, hi. <coughs> Next weekend. Is it? Should I be, uh, am I attending that? Did I, I said I was going. Oh, yeah. Really should colour that in, uh, there we go. Okay. Well, you've put it back on my uh, on my radar of things to do now. Cheers, Hancock. Thank you. Yeah, i i did tie I did take a um a, a one wrestle one one la, 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 thing, and I didn't like it very much. Double double block is the way forward, in my opinion. Well, you can go in there. You're going to go in there. You're going to press that. That is a massive pow. That is a massive pow. It's massive because it changes fundamentally what our opponent might or might not have to do. Um, I'm going to blitz this and try and surf it. So I'm going to need to be careful about where I stand. How about that goes there, that goes there. We're not going to activate the blob yet. I like big butts and I cannot lie. You other brothers can't deny. Wanna... There we go. That gives you a bit more stability. I'm going to try and sweep this off the board. You're being successfully swept by the surf train. Okay, 
Question now, do we stand that there? I mean, if you're him now, how are you getting out of this? How are you getting out of this? Genuine question, how are you getting out of this? I don't know. I don't know. Elf BS. Yeah, I, I think it probably is. It's some form of Elf BS, isn't it? Yeah. Rolling some dices. Yeah, he's, he's probably is going this way. But if I take this guy and put him central... It's misspelled tree. VIP tree. How are we doing, tree? How was my chicken? Uh, yeah, it was absolutely amazing. I actually couldn't finish the second chicken, so it's in a box, and it's downstairs. Hello, Gimlik. Good evening. Yeah. Um, Tree, I, I have to make uh, a slight um, ad admission, which is <laughs> that I ordered uh, a double chicken burger with two sides and then another double chicken burger. <clears throat> um, and the second one was just a little bit too much chicken burger. My, Turns out. what a magnificent catastrophe you got there. Uh, is it yours? I mean, he doesn't like four catches. I think four catches is fun. Why can't I use that one? What? What did you roll? An absolute fuck ton is what you rolled. Wow, okay. Okay. <clears throat> Don't worry, you still. Are. I'll look after you. In a world where every single dice was rolled. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we'll come this way. Oh, there's a surf on the table as well. Oh, this, this is this is painful to to not be allowed to go for the surf. It is genuinely painful to not be surfing. mind. That's a good bounce. Alright, so that's a good bounce. The problem is going to be this guy's free. I wanted to really wanted to get the blob into here to tag up both of these. I really think, I thought very long and hard about doing something naughty there, but uh, chose not to. Um, I think having the frenzy over here by one is a good move. And then I don't know whether or not we want to make go for it. Two rerolls is a bit spicy. Two rerolls is a bit spicy. Um, I think I probably just want to get the blob stuck on all of this. Do we want do we want this guy brought over? Is the question, I suppose. Or is he going in there? Because the the next choice is 1D that, 2D that. I think actually just having this guy stood over here and ignoring that problem is probably the best way to deal with it. Because now we've got blobs. Blobs on three. Doing great work. Do we genuinely care about that? I don't think so. Uphill that actually. 
but uphill that because at the moment he's going to get two blitzes back. Do I care about that? I think we leave it. Turn. You're back. <sighs> I think in Cyanide Ladder, format hybrid teams fare the worst. Um, humans are not one of the stronger perpetual league teams. They're a, they're a, a fairly strong midly to low TV team. I, I think that's the crux. Oh. <laughs> I think that's the crux of it. You're right, mate. Actually. Cheeky contact. Bastard. Ah, good. Best scatter going, actually. Of all the of all the eight squares, other than you catching it, I think that's probably best cat uh, best scatter. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. Works for me. Good evening, cheeky underscore Jimmy. Oh my John. Felt the dodge, and I just dragged you right back, like the problem child that you are. So I could block here, and that puts him here, so that's blocked, and then I can keep you free. I can block here, and then the blob can go stand there. Yeah, okay, so block here, so I can move blob. Now I know you're not going anywhere. Not sure we do with you yet. I'm going to blitz. Two, three, four. And this tells me whether I need to throw this block and dodge it or not. I do not. I also do not need to pick that ball up this turn. That's looking pretty strong now, isn't it, right? Catch one floor, catch one on floor, catch one on floor. Catch is dead. So all the all the movement is is stuck. Two of the catches are now on uh the tentacles. He's got no re-rolls, so he's dodging nakedly on a three. Um that's throwing two dice uphill, which is not very nice. You can maybe do something with this guy, but I we we've got this drive locked up, right? Only certain members of this community would now manage to fuck this up. From here. Check Discord. Oh yeah. Your opponent is conceded and you won. 
It was going that way, wasn't it? Good MVP there. Eight three two. I don't know if that game goes on Discord. Uh, Discord. Don't think that game goes out. Oh, you've leveled. Wonderful. 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 So it's just uh, it's just Luktos that now needs block, and he's only one casualty away. And we're just starting to edge towards uh, a couple of players actually having fun skills as well. <clears throat> right, let's play the next game. I guess it probably does go on, uh, on YouTube, right? So that was game 13. Oh, let's do it. <clears throat> Getting enough games in to unlock Undead is feeling harder than it should. Uh, Kira, how... Depending on what they release as the next team, if it's, if it's a stunty team, I won't play for it. I won't, be, I won't be using the Cyans. If it is Undead or Necro... Sorry, if it's Wood Elves or Necro, I will, I will use Cyans. Don't... Private League matches give you credit, though, don't they? IB says, even I wouldn't have conceded there. <laughs> I think the writing was on the wall with that one, IB. I think... I think they were going to struggle. Hype finally made Masters last night with Pelfs. Congratulations, Hype. Well played. That's why he said fortunately. Oh, I have fortunately played a lot of private league matches. Oh, right. Yeah, sure. Yeah, BB Knight, you're right. With Sweltering Heat, like, if he holds me to 0-0 zero, zero, and then Sweaty Hot gets takes out some important players, I, I could have been in trouble, right? <clears throat> could have been. IB says, depends on the cosmetics. What cosmetics? How many more tickets have they got for MS Bowl, by the way? Because I haven't actually signed up yet, I don't think. Um, I'll have to sign up and stuff. Is the rules pack decent? Because I'm not up for a shit rules pack. <laughs> but I, I would like to get my undead to 200. So um, if, they're un if, if it's a decent rules pack, I will... Um, this is for MS Bowl in, in um, Chester in tabletop in a couple of weeks' time. I'd be considering taking a team that's not... I've got a bunch of teams on about 170, 180 now. Just just go and have a good tournament with someone and that push them up towards 200. Oh, you get 50x cosmetics. Oh, right, okay. Uh, next weekend hype. Almost certainly. Oh, sorry, just to confuse everyone, I'm talking to Hancock mostly. Um, although it's an open conversation. I'm talking about going to a tabletop tournament. Um, if you go to tabletop tournaments, you have a separate ranking formula that is out there. And you start at 150. It's like an ELO ranking. You start at 150. And as you do better, you go up. 200 is considered a good ELO rank. It's like it's like getting to master, right? 2000. Think of 200 as 2000. Yeah, you got to master rank. Well done. Sure, there are people in the master rank who go way above that, right? But it's a nice benchmark. Oh, tick, I've got master. 200, it's like that. It's, it's, a, it's a check mark against your name. <laughs> 